Hello students and today we are going to discuss the chapter mineral resources and this is the first video on this chapter and I request you to watch the full video. So students we all know that the earth crust is made up of different types of rocks and the rocks are the aggregate form of minerals. So ultimately we can say the earth is made up of different types of minerals. Now the question is what are minerals? Now the geologist has uh, defined minerals as the naturally occurring inorganic substance solid crystalline which has a fixed structure and a chemical composition now minerals are formed in the different types of geological environment under varying conditions and they are formed naturally without any human interference and we can identify those minerals based on their physical property and chemical property like color density hardness and solubility among this, a small amount or small group of minerals makes up like 90% of the earth crust, which is known as rock forming minerals. 10 important minerals are there. Now, a rock forming mineral should have those following characteristics that it should be abundantly found on the earth crust and it should be the original mineral present at the time of rock formation and it should be the important mineral determining the classification of rocks. Now the minerals which are found whereas like on a small quantity is has a high economic value and as termed as economic minerals like gold, silver, platinum etc. Now the rocks which contain those economic minerals is known as ore. For example, bauxite is an ore of aluminium. Now the rocks are or the minerals are also taken out or extracted by the different process like mining, drilling and quarrying. Now the rocks which are present deep beneath the earth's surface taken out for the process of minerals is known as mining. Now the minerals like petroleum, natural gas are present at a greater depth. So the bore wells or the suction pipe or the drilling pipe is used in order to take out those minerals. This process is known as drilling. Whereas some of the minerals lies very near to the earth's surface and the processing of those minerals are termed as quarrying. There are various importance of minerals as well. It is used in industries. In fact, it is the backbone of the industrial development. Now, minerals are also used in making tools, implements and machine, etc. For example, iron. Minerals are also used in the manufacturing of jewelry, coins, utensils, decorative items, etc. It is also used for the constructional work. Minerals are also used for the health purpose, for example, like the manufacturing of different uh, medicines and all. The properties of minerals. Now, the very important property is it is an uh, it is a non-renewable and exhaustible resource. Means once it is used, it is finished. We cannot get it back. So the minerals also take million of years to form and it is present in impure form and it is unevenly distributed throughout the world. Now over than 2000 minerals has been identified now based on their composition minerals are classified as uh, metallic, non-metallic and energy minerals. Metallic again three types ferrous, non-ferrous and precious. Ferrous containing iron, non-ferrous does not contain iron and precious which has a high economic value. Non-metallic again it also does not contain uh, any metal and uh, Another one is the energy minerals like the fossil fuels like coal, petroleum, natural gas uh, uh, comes under this energy minerals. So students with this we end our today's video and in the next video I will be discussing about the distribution of minerals in India. And if you find this video quite helpful and informative then please like and share the video and do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the notification of next video. Thank you for watching.